Yeah. About the J vault. Yeah. The Jason yeah. vault. Yeah, you know. What is, what is that happening? That is the shortest purse I've ever what seen. What is <laughs> Just a little crossbody. Oh, I, I like how it's tight on the back. I like that. It's like almost like looks like a quiver. It's my quiver. <laughs> quiver. I barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, good to see you. you too. I gotta save the date from this man. Oh. STD? Yep. <laughs> what was it? October? November 4th. There's gonna be a lot of upset wormlings on November 4th. A lot of, a lot of tears. So we're gonna talk about two things in regards to the J-Vault, which is right over there. We're gonna talk about the design, and then we're gonna talk about the Branding, marketing strategy, how we're gonna sell it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The inside looks way better. Like what Jason said last time is like a ball oh, bit, yeah. so it's like the whole thing's circular. And yeah, it's great. I was walking and it fell out of my pocket, and when it did, <laughs> that fell and. Was the joint okay? The jo it, there wasn't anything in it. I was walking around with it here, and I would never. It feels a little bit like it's slightly incomplete. This was the. Bobby Crazy Ed version, yeah. version 1.0. The version I have got in my pocket right now, which if you want to, oh, cool. is there any bulge? No. <laughs> have you seen this one? No. Oh, it's got a little. Boom. Mm. Actually, pop it open. Oh, hey, ho, ha. You can't pull it apart this way, but it's magnetic. That's really great. So you have the, this groove here. It can only open this way. Right. Or it can be co taken completely off. Yeah. But any rub this way, any push, doesn't work. Drop test. Didn't come apart. Okay. Which is great. Yeah. It was supposed to be more rounded. What happened to that? This was supposed to have even more, it was supposed yeah. to be even more well, I mean, Twinkie-like. The reason Adam may not have rounded the bottom, if I'm guessing, is it was just from a manufacturing perspective very hard that he probably was expecting me to do it as a post-process and then I just put a mini chamfer. We can round the bottom, but unless, uh, let's round the bottom. I let's think, try yeah, one. the bottom and the top were supposed to all be rounded because that's going to minimize the volume. You know, you start clipping the corners and it's just going to oh, fit in your yeah. pocket even better. One criticism I had of this basically flawed this product was I don't flip up here, so I actually would advocate maybe moving the the, the finger the finger good doodlies a little lower. We could honestly get rid of the or finger. Take the finger doodlies off. off. Okay. Yeah, no one's. It saves the process. So we next version, it. we will take out the finger grooves, and I'll just get the this bottom rounded. This is the thing people do. They like roll a joint at home, then take it out for the night. You know. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you skeptical of the demand for this product? No, I just don't get it. Yeah, it's working for Wormwood reduced your skepticism for demand for products. Yeah, people buy stuff. They should, should, yeah. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, branding, yep. the logo, Wormwood Shield, it's big old blunt. Just <laughs> Jason. No. <laughs> A, what brand goes on it? B. Where and how does it get sold? Upstream of that, maybe. Is there any legal restriction on just openly selling marijuana accessories in any state we sell it? I think all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't speak to specific laws in specific states, but it depends on how we want to market it. For example, if you go in any gas station, there's bowls, there's bongs, there's all this type of stuff. Right. I'm sure you can do that. You can yeah. sell a wooden box. Yep. Our payment processor is Stripe. Stripe currently doesn't allow sales that are attached to alcohol or tobacco. That's the same exact thing that Kickstarter uses, which is why Kickstarter can't mm. do it. Square, what we do for conventions, there are no restrictions on Square. So if we wanted to switch to Square, it would work. Not a bunch of squares. Look up people. Who cares? Wait for Stripe Legally. to notice. Yeah, yeah <laughs> beg for forgiveness. Like we just do it and you show. No, I mean, that's what I would do. <laughs> if Square processes payments like that, in Wait, but you said alcohol and tobacco. They don't even have a policy on marijuana. Oh, no, like, it's, of it's course, lumped it's, in there. Yeah. So, one option, we brand it as Wormwood. It is sold as the mini dice vault on wormwoodgaming.com. The photography, it just shows mini dice. We don't ever even mention the fact that this could be used for anything else. I'm just saying, that is the safest play. Other end of the spectrum is we literally buy a website that is totally outside of the Wormwood ecosystem. 
This then would become like the first product for sale on it. And it is a different logo, could be a different incorporation, it could be a different legal structure. So that is like the most on this side. What I wanna figure out right now, where are we going on that spectrum so we can start moving in that direction? Not saying we can't change our direction in the future, but right now, what are we doing? I'm sure I have thoughts, I'm sure Jason has thoughts. So who Bobby, wants to go first? Why don't we give, do winners go first or do losers go first? Jason won the, the design contest. Yeah. I think in races, usually like the winner in the next race gets like a better position. But that always struck me as not fair. It's like not why do they fair. do that? So why don't the worst person go? Okay, there's a couple things. <clears throat> I think the big thing is associating drug use with the brand. And obviously we can make it a completely different company and you wouldn't have any idea that Wormwood was even a part of it. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we don't want weed accessories next to Dice Towers. It just makes no sense. That, in my opinion, is the only thing that I care about is that when people go on wormwoodgaming.com, it's not like gemstone dice, hexagonal dice vault, dice tower, weed accessories. Tables, like it just doesn't make sense to me. I think the only thing I feel strongly about is you have a place to go to get your gaming stuff, you have a place to go to get your weed stuff. It's not the same store. Okay. If you're at a convention booth, it can't be the same booth. You know, it just seems Let crazy. Me, all right, let's get the Jason position. Because I think Jason, you are the most protective. You think brands are sort of a real intentional thing yeah, that I need think, to be built and guarded. I think they are intentional and they set expectations. So what is your position? for the JJ ball. I would say, th this is why I actually I like like Worm Life. I see Worm Life as the nexus of where we talk about Wormwood products, Prophecy, Wormwood Home, weed products. That's where like the exposure happens. That's where we leverage all of our viewers. But then like, this is a new company. There's no shield on it. There's no Wormwood on it. It's like a new thing. You would advocate a new company name, a new website associated yep. with that, basically a new brand. This new, would be a, a, new a new brand. brand. I always go to like the Banana Republic Old Navy Gap model. So you go to gap.com, yep. and then up at the top, there's little buttons and it's like Banana Republic. Then you click that, and it brings you to bananarepublic.com. You're actually not opposed. Even though it's a separate brand, you're still yeah. not opposed. So you and Bobby then are the same on that. Pretty, actually, pretty close, actually. yeah. In Bobby's world, it, it would be called Bobby's World. I just I just said that. <laughs> That's the brand. A yeah. Wormwood company. Yeah. In your version, there's Wormwood quality gaming supplies and then there's Wormwood Elevation. In your world, there's Wormwood quality gaming supplies and then Elevation, which has a different logo, but you could still, I guess what's weird is you could still get there from the Wormwood website. That A, feels a little weird, but B, Nick, how much traffic does WormwoodGaming.com get currently? Uh, it's like 20,000 people a day, I think. Okay, so it's like there's 20,000 customers every single day, shoppers that are going to WormwoodGaming.com. And I get that's why you guys want to sort of cross-link it over, but that... You're down to like 5% maybe. It took us a long time to build that Instagram. It took us a long time to build this YouTube channel. It took us a long time to build that website. You kind of are throwing the baby out with the bathwater when you're when you are really branching it off. I just want people to understand the costs. I think companies do this all the time. It's gonna be a lot easier starting this other brand, building it off the success of this brand, I think. I think we could launch this on wormwoodgaming.com if we really wanted to, and then do what Jason and I are talking about. I don't think it's gonna be that slow. How many Instagram followers we have now? 200,000, oh, okay. give or take? Instantly, like 30 to 50K might just immediately switch over. I think it's gonna be like within a year, we might be at the point we are right now with Wormwood. This is also a bigger audience. Everything Jason's saying, uh, yeah, great, let's <laughs> sick, let's do it. Let's just sell it. It sounds like you two are actually in alignment on a lot That's of this I'm stuff. saying, I think me and Bobby are okay. yeah. almost fucking locked stuff. Yeah, Buzzbar. which is, okay, we'll have, keep the same YouTube, but we will make a new Instagram, theoretically a new Facebook, theoretically a new Twitter. We'll have a new website. Just the question is, are we going to keep the Wormwood name? And is the brand itself, the logo itself, going to reference Wormwood in terms of the shield aesthetic? Michael, what's your, let's go Michael, Nick, and then finally Ian, we're gonna do whatever Ian says. One thing that is interesting, <laughs> <laughs> if we can actually stand up a totally new brand and succeed, that is very interesting. Because that feels like that scales. To give that the best possible chance of working, it's like, well, you want the brand this is it. as accurate as possible. If that's the goal, it's not about cross-pollinating worm, it's about selling weed things to weed customers. It's like, do it as best you can and see if it works. 
Nick, do you have any opinion? Uh, uh, what's going on? I'm getting up. You said the Gap Banana Republic website, those all feed into one cart. That's not actually separate websites, I don't think. That's one website with like different URLs oh, all yeah. on the same thing. It's like a skin website. Yeah. But it is like gap.com, banana republic.com, old navy.com. Yeah, that also kind of goes directly against what you're talking about if we want to do that. That's a great point. Are you willing to actually have totally separate websites, totally separate par carts? There's no cross pollination. Oh, on yeah. Them. I would prefer that. I like what Waldman's saying, like, it's about cross-pollination, let's make it about cross-pollination. Yeah. If it's about making the best damn weed accessories we can, let's make it about that. What I'm really working on is I just want to be able to develop products and launch products, hire people, and grow. That's all I'm interested in. What are we doing, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> well, I lean more towards more separate. How many times have we had the conversation, oh, does this work with the brand, does this not work with the brand? If we don't separate it enough, that is not gonna go away. Every new product's gonna be like, oh, well, that's gonna screw up the brand for one or the other. If we actually want to move and do things, it needs to be free to move. And to make it free, I think it needs to be more separate. Okay, so Bobby, what I need from you then is we need some name options and we need some logos and just the sort of the brand feel. Bobby, you are VP of Wormwood, no. Yeah. You are VP of Debauchery. Bobby's World. <laughs> Bobby's <laughs> World. Bobby's World, man. Yeah, fucking Comment yeah, below. Yeah. Let us know. What's Let the name of the know. company? What's the name of the company? What's the name of the new company? It is it's not, not Wormweed. Worm it's something completely different. You know the comments are only going to be Wormweed now, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Round bottom. Fat bottom! Uh, you know the band? No. Come on, Dougie. Come on, you gotta know. Queen! Oh, fat bottom gir oh, girls make yeah. the world go round? Yeah, no, they do. You like, that's, that's how you like them. <laughs>